forward then to a potential dual between George and Shane? I think uh, you know, it's just a fantastic game of rugby regardless. You know, I don't think uh, there's any particular duels. I think uh, you know, both George and Shane are, are great players and they tend to turn that ball over the park so they probably won't face each other that often. Um, but you know, to have two players of that quality in this fixture is fantastic. Yes, if it did come down to a duel, would you back six foot five? Uh, I think they, George they've against. both got their own attributes, haven't they? You know, and they play the game slightly differently, and um, it's um, it, it, it was a contrast in styles. And um, you know, as I say, they, they can both impact the game in different ways. Yes, did miss last weekend, Nigel. How, how impressed you with the performance of Rodri coming in instead? Very impressed with Rodri. You know, um, Rodri's been impressive uh, for the last uh, year or so. Um, we've worked hard on his scrimmaging and his profile, and. Um, in fairness, it was, he was excellent in that area for us. Uh, but also Phil John came on and made a, a, a massive impact as well. So very pleased with both of their performances. What did you tight end? He's played both of you, he? He's played both, yeah. Um, his earlier career was as a tight end, more recently as a loose end. Um, uh, but we have experiment, experimented with him on, on the tight end as well. So um, yeah, we keep in an open mind, but he can do a very good job on the, the loose end at the moment. But, we're just experimenting with the fact to see whether he can actually go across to the tight end. So. Because obviously Wales are looking at him, they show that and record him, but with, that, with the tight end situation in Wales, you expect yeah. them to have a look at him possibly as Yeah, I think they were looking at him as a tight end because we had exposed him there, he had played in some uh, you know, competitive rugby for us at tight end. And it's something that we look at again, but you know, this block of rugby is, um, is too important to us to be experimenting and uh, you know, we put him back on. Is regarded currently as his more natural position. Some up this fixture, Nigel, this time here. It's great, isn't it? It's just a fantastic fixture, and I think um, it's 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 a, it's a sold out, it's a really sold out yeah. fixture. I can't even get tickets myself for this one. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's great that um, there's so much interest in it, and you look at the quality of both sides, um, and, and it's got to be you know, one of the most exciting fixtures in the league. Both sides hurt it as well after what happened in Europe. Yeah, I think both teams are pretty frustrated. Um, there were a lot of positives from our point of view in terms of the fact that we went to, to, to Thurman Park and we showed that we were capable of beating uh, the side of the quality of Munster. We didn't and we, we accept that and realise that and that's a frustration. But, um, you know, we take a lot of confidence and belief from, from the performances. You know, Martin should beat them, Nigel, but you were very close. Perhaps you should won that game, Alex Romsey. Um, what's going to take to get that one? Um, there's going to have to be a level of intensity, uh, accuracy will be very important, um, desire, and I don't think there'll be any shortage of that from, from either team, but uh, then we have a lot of quality individuals on, on the field and it's going to boil down to a couple of moments, uh, whether that be uh, ones that we generate ourselves or through mistakes. Rhys Thomas is um, four more. Wait, wait. Where would you put him on down in terms of his game? From my point of view, he's, he's played exceptionally well for us. Uh, he's a big part of what we are, um, both with and without the ball, and uh, is, a, is a big part of, of the team at the moment. Is it fair to say he took a little while to settle in and big grow it's been, it's been difficult for him, you know, um, adjusting, first of all, to a new environment with different values. Um, Secondly, injuries haven't helped him, but I think you know he's um, he's eventually got there and um, uh, you know he's showing his, his true potential at the moment, and uh, we're we're delighted with this one. Do you think? I'm not quite sure how keen Warren is on on this, but do you think his form would warrant some you know, looking at the head of the Six Nations? It's on on form alone. Certainly, he merits being looked at. Um, but as I say, you know, different environments have different values, um, and sometimes players don't fit into that, those values for whatever reason. However, you know, what I will say is that Reese has definitely matured, and um, I can't see why he shouldn't, you know, he shouldn't be looked at um, if his form is good enough. Roger, you, you obviously you know the rival between the Ospreys and the Scarlets. You haven't beaten them in seven. How much does that hurt, and how much do you think you can put that right on Boxing Day? 
to remain composed for this one. It's, it's, it's difficult, you know. Um, it's a great rivalry to have, and um, because of that, we have this excitement around the game. We've got a sellout stadium, um, so the rivalry is everything. Um, what I can't afford to be is too emotional in it. Of course, it hurts, of course, it's frustrating, but uh, as a group, we have very firmly focus on what we need to do to achieve that victory. Uh, and I, in particular, head up and lead the group, have to remain focused, but there's a lot of passion behind that. How, um, how much of a beasting do you give these boys on Christmas Day? On Christmas Day? Yeah. None Living at all. In? None at all. They'll be with their families enjoying so, themselves. Yeah. Them. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, none Christmas at all. Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve? Uh, uh, Christmas Eve, we'll do, a, we'll do a team run. They'll have tomorrow off. We'll do a team run Christmas Eve. Uh, and, and really, you know, you have to be realistic. It's a big family occasion. These boys need to spend time away. They, you know, they commit themselves throughout this, this festive season and the new year. Um, and the balance is to strike really is to give them enough rest and recovery uh, and time away from rugby so that when they come back to rugby they're refreshed, they're focused and they're ready to go. So it's, it's, it's a key balance, but no Christmas Day, they won't be anywhere near the place. Final <laughs> one, sorry, no, is it Sean Lamont, you're obviously losing him. Yeah. I mean, just with what has he brought and also are you going to have to look, have to replace him? Uh, you know, Sean came in at um, a very difficult time for us and we needed somebody of his quality both on and off the field. He's been immense really in terms of his contribution to the group um, and um, you know, in the, I think we've said everything we need to say in, in the press release but you know, from a personal point of view I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Sean for his contribution um, and he's really been a big help particularly with this young set of backs that we've had and people have given a lot of credit to Regan King rightly so but don't underestimate the impact that something like Sean has had on this group as well. Um, in terms of replacing him, well, you know, we're we're obviously very heavily into the process of uh, recruitment and getting the squad together for next year, and that will come through, you know, in the next two to three months when we we have announcements to make. Uh, but uh, uh, we've obviously brought in Bilami Yongi as well, who was part of a strategic approach to that position. Um, and um, yeah, so we, we planned, we know where we're going with things and um, we're working within the strengths of our budget as well. If Reese, Reese and Dan, Dan Bigger were to play, for example, on Boxing yeah. Day, they're obviously one and two as they were for Australia, what sort of battle would that be, do you think, the new generation of players coming through perhaps? Yeah, great, great, fantastic uh, uh, opportunity for both of them, probably bigger opportunity for Dan at this moment in, in time to, uh, to promote his, his case. But um, you know, as a ten, you have a responsibility to run and lead the game and manage the game. And ten will influence the game probably more than any other player on the field. I'd be nine sometimes, but they will touch the ball and make more contribution to the game. So you know, it's it is pretty significant in terms of who runs the the, the ship the, the, the best. Mm -hmm. well, both of them goal kicking in you. I mean, how much has that been? Sort of Again, if you're a goal kicker, it's a responsibility that you, you, you belong to, and um, as we, you know, we can't hide from it, uh, look at uh, results, it's, it's a factor.